now shifting our focus to another developing story and all eyes will be on Kenya tomorrow as well leaders, technocrats, diplomats and environmentalists witness President Uhuru Kenyatta torch the largest stockpile of ivory and rhino horns to have ever been burnt globally. It is a ceremony expected to be witnessed by about three presidents as well as global icons from various fields. Timothy Atena has the details. It has been weeks of preparations that will culminate in an event so significant it will be witnessed by both African and global leaders who have since made their way to Kenya. The ground zero for the activities Saturday morning will be at the Kenya Wildlife Service headquarters in Nairobi that also houses the only national park in the world within the proximity of a city, the Nairobi National Park. The pyres meant to be set ablaze, standing scattered across the park with 105 tons of ivory and 1.35 tons of rhino horns displaying the massive risk and danger African wildlife face at the hands of poachers. We are looking at uh, an accumulation of uh, ivory for the last 26 years or so since 1989. Uh, we are looking at ivory that has come through the country, so part of it is uh, illicit being on transit. We are looking at uh, ivory that uh, is uh, been from cases of poaching, but are also looking at natural uh, deaths, uh, maybe animals dying from, uh, well, elephants dying from uh, diseases, and cases of human wildlife conflict. According to the Kenya Wildlife Service, the 105 tons of ivory, stacked in 11 piles of 16,000 tusks each, is believed to have been obtained through the death of about 8,000 elephants and a further 343 rhinos may have been killed for the 1.35 tons of their horns. In our fight against uh, illegal wildlife trafficking, is something that is transparent, it's been open to the media, open to the public, this is all ivory. President Uhuru Kenyatta is hosting, among other world leaders, his Ugandan counterpart Yoweri Museveni and Gabon's President Seretse Kama, who will be joining more than 170 delegates expected from Kenya, the United States and Europe. Ivory sales are illegal under the terms of the International Convention on the Trade in Endangered Species, to which Kenya is a signatory. But despite this, the poaching menace, which is believed to rake in 3 billion shillings annually, still remains a major challenge. Environmentalists globally believe that tomorrow's banning of the illegal ivory will send a firm statement against poaching which threatens to wipe out the remaining elephants and rhinos in the Kenyan wild. Timothy Otieno, KTN News.